All right, so we're going to do a video on the takedown of the uh, High Point 95. The reason I'm doing this one is this is a Gen 1, one of the original ones back in the 90s, I believe. Because um, the breech bolt comes off differently, and that's the main reason I'm doing that, as I haven't seen a video on that yet. Um, magazine's out, has been safety checked, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll go ahead and take our uh, muzzle device off first, if you have a muzzle device on. If not, obviously don't worry about it. It's going to be a 964 uh, Allen wrench. You don't have to take it out all the way. Just loosen it up and it should slide off. Okay, there's that. Uh, next we'll take our front sight post off, which is going to be a uh, 564 Allen wrench. And again, we don't have to take the, uh, the Allen screws out. We can just loosen it. Maybe. That thing's on her tight. So we just loosen those up. And pop off our front sight. There's that. Uh, next, our, our heat shield will come off. Just make sure you slide it forward because these two tabs are going to be underneath your receiver cover right here. There's two tabs. Slide underneath that receiver cover. So just make sure you pull it forward and don't bend them out. Uh, next, we will take our charging handle off, which will be a 7 sixteenths, and just unscrew it off. That's it. And we'll take our uh, receiver shroud off, I guess you'd call it. These are, these are like Chicago style screws, where like one screws into another. Uh, they're going to be 5 sixteenths, I believe. Yeah, and you have one right here in the front, and one right here in the back. And that's it. So we'll hold one side and take off the other. Oh, I think that's turning over there. I don't have it on there, do I? There we go. Try it again. Like I said, it's like the Chicago style, it screws in like that. And same, same way with the back here. Same size, 5 sixteenths. Man, I'm spinning again over here. Nice to have this my vise, but this bitch doesn't have a vise on it. And our receiver shroud should just lift right off. Uh, next, we'll take the stock off, which should be one screw and a pin. I went ahead and took off my sling. This is my sling mount from here. You might have a screw here. It's just gonna it's captured on the other side with a nut embedded in there. So you're just gonna unscrew that. Here we go. And we're going to take this clip right here. We're going to move it forward. We'll retain clip. I'll cover it up as much as I can. Keep it halfway from scratching. And we're just going to, it's going to go forward. Pop that off. Clip over. You're going to lift your barrel out and then kind of push it forward a little bit and up. And that's it. Here's your stock. And you can take your magazine off. Uh, your, your stock is actually in two pieces. You can see the seam right here. You got a couple clips right here and all, a bunch of screws in here. You can see them better over here. If you wanted to split your stock in two. But anyway, that's that. In case you had something to do with your magazine release or something. We're not going to do all that. We'll just set that aside. Okay, this is the part that's different. Is our uh, breech bolt right here, the stock part. The newer ones, well even the older ones, I think all of them but this first gen one has got, you've got like a uh, 
like a clamp, like a sliding lock, kind of like a clip, like what we took off right here. Sort of, kind of, but anyway, you're going to take that and you got to pull it back and then your bolt breech will come off. On these old ones, you've got a roll pin right here you have to knock out. It's right there. So that's basically why I wanted to do this video is because it's different. So get my punch. And we'll hammer that out real quick, hopefully. I can keep it stable. Come out all the way. It's coming. All right, it went. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to take our breech bolt. We're going to push it back and up at the same time. And it should pop right out. We're going to slide it forward of the barrel. Watch out, you have a recoil spring down here. And it's just going to slide off the end of the barrel. And here's the part. You just slide this out the back. That's what your pin's going through to lock it in. And this captures your firing pin and everything. It's all in. Your firing pin and spring's all in. Getting the light there is all in there. And that just pops out of there if you want to take all that. And your firing pin will should pop out too. And I believe that is it. Uh, the main thing I just wanted to show you, you have a trigger pin right here if you want to take your trigger out. I think that's one end's a mushroom, one's not. It's a little counterweight. But as far as I'm going to take it down. And also on your newer ones, some of them might have a, uh, a guide rod. Uh, this didn't. I thought maybe it was missing. But on Numerix or Gun Park Score on their schematic, which I love that site for looking at schematics and stuff, but... Um, it doesn't show one with this with this early model either. So you'll probably have a guide rod in there. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. And I will do a reassembly video next. Thanks for watching.